Welcome to DL Academy. Today, I'm going to show you how to detailing the concrete column using Autodesk Revit. Here, I'm using our previous foundation detailing model. If you still did not watch our previous video on detailing of pad foundation, subscribe to our channel and watch it. Okay, let's start. According to my structural design, I want to use four numbers of 16 mm reinforcement bars with 6 mm shear ties at 5 inch center to center intervals. So, first of all I'm going to create a new view to show the column detail. For that, I'm going to use the sectional view from the existing section F1 view, and draw the new section view to show the column section. I rotate the view by 90 degrees. I want to show the view from top to bottom. Therefore I change the view direction. Then I open the new section. I adjust the view limits. Next I change the scale to half inches to 1 feet and the detail level to find for perfect details. Here in this detail view I don't want to show the sectional view symbol and therefore I hide it in the view. Additionally I adjust the view limits to maximum fit, as this help in the sheet to clear unnecessary spacing. However, I don't want to show this in the view and so I hide it in the view. In addition, this concrete pattern in column section disturbed the clear details. So I'm going to hide it in the right click menu, cut patterns foreground by overriding. Next time going to add the shear ties. For that I moved into the structure tab and click on rebar. I select the 6 mm bar from the properties window. Next I want to select the correct rebar shape for the shear ties. So I browse the rebar shapes to suit the required shape. I found rebar shape 51 is suit for the requirement. Therefore I place the bar in the sectional view like this. However I want to change the hook's angle from 90 degrees to 135 for good mechanical bonding. So I change the values at hooks at start as well as at the end to the degree of 135 and apply for the changes. This is look ok, but however the lengths of hooks somewhat more than the required. Therefore I want to adjust the hook length and I added it in the type properties. I tick on the auto calculation for the 135 degree ties. Yes, now it looks perfect. Next I want to assign the cover to the reinforcement. I click on the cover icon and then select the column. Here the default cover is 1 and half inches. So, here I change it to the 3 fourths inches. This is the look of the shear ties after adjusting the cover on the section view. However I placed only a single bar for the shear tie. Therefore I select the bar and edit the rebar set as I want. I change the single to maximum spacing and set the spacing to 5 inches. Next time going to place the main reinforcement bars for the column. Click on rebar and select 16 mm rebar in properties menu. I want the straight bars for main reinforcement. Therefore I select back the rebar shape to 0. Then I set the placement to perpendicular to the cover. Now add my main bars on the column like this. Wow, here these bars are auto aligning to the placement point according to the shear ties. So I'm placing the four main bars on the each corner of the shear tie. Now adding the reinforcement to the column is completed. However this column's reinforcement should be connected to the pad foundation. Let's see how we can do that. First I'm going to hide the sectional symbol in the section F1 view. So I hide it in the view. Let we look at how the column reinforcement is in the plan view of pad foundation. Here also we don't want this callout symbol on this view and therefore I hide it in the view. Ok, here the shear tie is not visible however when I move the mouse pointer on it I can select it. Then I edit the view visibility. I ticked on the view unobscured for the plan F1. Now the rebar tie is visible on the plan view of foundation. Then I select one of the main bar in section F1 view. I drag the bar extend to somewhere up to here. 
Repeat the procedure for the next bar too. Now I want to add 90 degree hooks at the start of the column reinforcement and this is helps for good anchorage with the foundation base ones. Therefore, here I change the hooks at 10 to the 90 degree. Now this is how it looks on the plan view. However normally these hooks are placed to the outside from the column. For that I can rotate the main bar to required angle. So I click on the rotate command but I want to place the center for rotation in the axis of main bar. However, in this view it's far difficult to place the center of rotation due to complexity of the reinforcement. Ok, no problem, I can find another way. I close the view and, then I open the level 1 view. Let me see after zooming. Yes it's ok, seems like I can rotate B rebar here more easily. Then I select the bar. Click on the rotate icon and place the center of rotation in the axis on main bar. Then rotate the bar by the angle of 135 degrees like this. Yes, now it looks good. Then I repeat the same procedure for the other three bars also. Select the bar. Then add a 90 degrees of hook at the start of the bar. Next rotate the bar by the angle of 135 degrees. Repeat the same for next two bars also. Yes it looks perfect. Now, I open the plan view of F1 well here I can see the main reinforcement bars with the anchors. In addition to these views I can check the rebar in the 3D view also. In this view, I drag these bars up to some extent into the foundation and however we can place the spars at the defined exact position with the rebar constraint later. Ok let me move into the plan view of foundation, and I want to unobscure the reinforcement bars in the view, as I did in last time. Yes, wow the view is now perfect. Here I just adjust this rebar tag for better view of the bar. So I don't need this level 1 view anymore and I close it. Next I move into section view of F1 and select one of this main bar and click at a constraint. Here I want to set the start constraint of the bar. So I select the line relative to the bottom line of the foundation. Then I check with the constraint value of minus 4 inches. However this looks the gap is somewhat more. So let's try with the value of minus 3 inches. Yes I think the better value is minus 3.5 inches. This looks perfect. Now I finish the constraint. Similarly I add minus 3.5 inches of constraint for all other main reinforcement bars from the bottom line of the foundation. These two bars should hidden in this view and however I add constraint for these two bars also because those can be seen on the other views including the 3D views.
Next time going to hide these two bars only for this view. Ok, now creating of reinforcement bars are complete. Then I'm going to add dimensions and rebar tags for the reinforcement in the column view. So I click the dimension icon and place them as necessary. Next add the rebar tags for the reinforcement bars. Here are for the main bars. This tag contained a bar type, diameter and the automatic bar mark. I placed rebar tags for all main reinforcement bars. Here for the shear tie, I want to display the center to center spacing along with the rebar tag. Therefore I select the relevant type of rebar tag for the shear ties. I zoom out the detail view. Wow, now the view looked perfect for the detailing. Then I'm going to add this view into the sheet. I simply click and drag the view onto the sheet and place it where I want. Yes, now it's finished. Look at the complete details including the foundation views. Now it's compatible with the professional structural engineering details. Ok, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Have a nice day.